How you doing today? We're back with another stream of Starbound. I hope y'all are feeling fantastic today. I know I am feeling great. So, first things first, I uh, I got some of these mushi. Um, these are, uh, I guess you, the cows. They're the cows of this world, of this universe. Um, so yeah, you get milk from them, which is what I've got up there. And then uh, if you were to combine, say, milk with coffee, you get flat white coffee. Oh, yeah. And then if you were to combine coffee and milk and uh, chocolate, you get mochaccino. Each one of these is a better food item than the last, because um, the more ingredients that go into it, the better the food is. So as soon as we can get some more meat, Milk, we will turn all of that coffee that we just made flat and white <coughs> into some mochaccino. Because you'll remember last time, we expanded our farm a little bit. We got the, uh, the cotton, of course, because we need that for a bunch of different armor pieces. But we also put in the coffee and the chocolate, so that way this robot could farm out some cocoa powder, or cocoa pods, sorry, and then also some coffee beans for us. And, you know, cotton, which we need for all that stuff. Then, <clears throat> I happen to hit up one of them uh, planets, what with the sun being the primary uh, star, the fire, yep, top tier planets, went down and got myself a few solarium stars you can see there. You can upgrade our bandito sombrero, and also uh, pants and poncho, and get us a gambler's hat. <clears throat> which I think this one looks pretty good. We'll go ahead and get this crafted. And then pants. And then the best. And with that, we've honestly got ourselves a pretty top tier kind of weapon. That's, it's pretty good. Pretty good stuff that we just got. Um, <clears throat> and let's slap it on, huh? Boop. Oh, I can't just shift click it in like I can everything else? Okay. All right, fair. There we go. And then we got this disguise chest piece. <clears throat> I found a few cosmetic items that I just haven't sorted out yet, basically. But we're gonna keep this look. We'll, we'll look at it real quick. What do you think, huh? I kinda still like the uh, because of the way the symbol on the face of the Nova Kid works, I'm really thinking this top, top hat is still going to be the way that we can go. We could change out any of the other stuff, but I, I just think that this gives us like a really civilized kind of look. So I kind of like it. I kind of like it. Let's throw in all this stuff that we picked up from farming out those animals over there. Now let's see what our other inventories look like. How's our block inventory doing? We got some maximum blocks there. We need to put up this thousand that we picked up. Which is cobblestone. We got a bunch of other random stuff. But I mean, it's not a full inventory, so that's all that really matters. But hey, first things first. Let's go to a Miniknog Stronghold. Hey guys, welcome to the stream. It's good to see you, Cruiser. Good to see you, Big Soda. <clears throat> Gonna go fight some Apex that are standing on the wrong side of yesterday. So let's put that up there and also this. So that's going to be, like, my newest food, or my oldest food, I guess. Except for this meat, which I probably should have cooked, but oh well. Oh, and we can't... <laughs> that's right, we can't harvest. Quick, we need you down in the tunnels. Ah, see? They have... The resistance, it looks like, is uh, going against the actual Minignog now. So they're going to have us come in and do stuff for them. Ooh. 
we do need to keep a lookout. We are still trying to see if we can spot any of the secrets. See, like this. This looks like a secret. Heck yeah. Oh, just a torch, though. That's a pretty terrible secret, I mean, all things considered. Ugh, I can't leave once I'm in here. Oh no. Densely defended by heavily armed guards patrolling on every level. What does that even mean? Ooh, there's a water route. See secrets, you just gotta keep looking. Just gotta keep looking. I honestly probably should have put up all this cosmetic stuff that I found before I came here. Although I really doubt I'll get <clears throat> I'll get so much loot that that really matters. But maybe. Ooh. I would assume that means they're aware of me. Yeah, look at all of those soldiers down there. just I can okay well, that's good to know but I do want to see what's down here obviously ooh just straight up more armor pieces all right See how brilliant it is about fighting in melee? I mean, like, as much as I'm really trying to do the gun thing, guys, it's just, it is real hard. Because melee is just so easy. Because the enemies are stupid. They just make bad decisions. in here. Come on. Do the thing. Maybe there was something I was supposed to do faster? I don't think so. And that's where I came down. And that's what I've already hit. Because that's what opened up the uh, path underground there. Unless hitting, hitting it again will change the path? Oh wait, no. I'm an idiot and this is a button. This is a very obvious button that I should have been able to figure that out much quicker. Uh. This feels like there's something gonna be down here to... Oh, okay, cool. Hey, and just like that, we got the whole armor set. So in case you were wondering what the cosmetic set from here looks like, it's that. I mean, it doesn't look bad. Very in theme. Very high-tech looking. But decidedly less dapper than what we currently have going on. <clears throat> I gotta be real with you. Might, we might have just already found our, uh, our look for the whole remainder of the game. I'd have to find something pretty interesting to take me away from it. I mean, it's not... So I say that melee is really easy, and I do mean it, but it's not like... It's not like the gun stuff is really hard, either. Like this. I just stand right, right in the way, and they can't do anything about it. <laughs> I'm 
noob. Alright, so that should have opened up this over here, right? Right. So I don't know what that switch did, but I'm sure it did something. Oh, there's high voltage here. I do have the Tenacious Moxie, thank you for recognizing that sale. Although somehow I should be able to do this right. I don't know, maybe I come back in later? From the other side? There's a switch in there. Yeah, well, I definitely don't get to it from here. Strange life signs in the depths below. And of course, he just let, sits there and lets that happen. I want to scan. I want to scan this stuff. This is some pretty good decorations here. strange pods just out and about in their house. Aha! So that's how we get in there. Because now that is open, it looks like. So let's go back up. Oh yeah, baby is all open to you now. Then we got a visor. And on an energy being, that just doesn't look as cool, sadly. <clears throat> okay, but was there anything else down there? That's the important factor. I gotta make sure I didn't miss anything. Okay, no, that's a glass, that's a glass wall. And of course, we can't break anything while we're on one of these missions. So yeah, we did actually go over we'll down here. No. Luckily, we have the power of grappling hook. It's truly, as I have said numerous times, the best, the best item in the game. Oh no. You don't get to just trick me like that, game. Unless that was not the trick. That was what was supposed to happen. building up enough charge to open this thing. It's kind of what it looks like. But as I'm killing these things, it's giving me more charge here. This is, this is Big Boss Ape checking me out, huh? Oh, you dang right I've made it. To take out the final defenses? Well, sure. Absolutely. New friend. Who is definitely not already recognizable as I'm 100% going to be brought to the space station as soon as I... 
as soon as I finish this mission. Oh, hey, and some loot stuff. Maybe. Maybe some loot stuff. I would assume that crates would equal loot, but apparently not. And that's where she talked to me, so yeah. Of course I'm scanning the artwork. Cruiser? You know I am. And fountains and everything else. I gotta get I gotta get all of this. But I wanted to get the outside done before I started doing the inside. You see. Mm-hmm. Can I write these? Oh yeah, money. Money. Mm, some double money. That Let's see, band clock. Love this. Love this. I always like it when stuff takes uh, actual, like, real world artwork and turns it into something fantastical. Any of this? Yeah, that absolutely. And that has some blocks. It looks like. Let's see. Does this one got anything? Oh, some guns. Chandeliers. We got all the curtains. Okay, cool. <laughs> oh, I like that one. Alright, so... <clears throat> here we go. Let me... I'm just going to go ahead and apply a heal to myself. And we'll see what happens here. Oh. Oh, gosh. All of a sudden, electric ball things... All right. where he shoots all the missiles at me? Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. 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 All right. Well, I'm getting better at it anyways. Oh, gosh. Electric fists. And what now? Oh, you're going to gain a new... A new... A new... What is this? A bullet hell game all of a sudden? What's going on? That's a pattern that I've seen before. That's the electric fist. Yes. Very fine. Stuff. It's I'm amazing. I'm so good. Whew. I gotta do an actual heal. Get myself back to full. Give me that business. Bullet hell time. Gotcha. Oh, I thought I was being clever with the dodge there. If I had done that on purpose, I would feel so good about myself. 
Unfortunately, I did not do that on purpose. Found the place to be safe for that one. All the way out. Oh god. working out. This is working out. Apparently it's somewhat resistant to fire. I kind of wish I had brought a different element. So I got the Mignog Launcher, the Big Ape Figurine, and 105 Pixels. The next summer, yeah. Dapper Spaceman fighting a high budget special effects giant monkey. The next summer blockbuster, as Cruz says. Alright, let's grab this. And then also all this material here. Rotic Soul Cruncher. What is the Minikinog Launcher? Oh, it's a... Is this like just a rocket launcher though? Because rocket launchers are bad. Oh. Eh, well. Maybe we'll try it out. I guess you can load am ammunition into it. That might not be terrible. Well done, soldier. Thanks to you, this is all worth it. What is this thing? This glowing thing is very distracting. Hmm? Oh, this is what you're here for? Take it! Hmm? Soldier, I'd like to help you. I think you've earned some assistance. I have skills that might be useful to you. Cool, that sounds like if I take that, then the mission's over and she joins the team. So let's uh, explore. <laughs> uh, there's nothing up there, okay. All right. We got the Apex key, guys. So we've only got... How many do we have left? Like, one or two? See me on the other side. Lana has joined the outpost. So let's go to the Ark. Hey, give me the daily buff. Oh, the daily buff is light, okay. 
Okay, yeah, we got one left. No, two left. That I thought we were going to put one in there. So now we have to find the glitch clues. That's the next one that we're on. Let's get that and get a manipulator module. What are we looking at anyways? The next, the last range is 24. So 24 would be what we're looking for. And then what does Lana want me to do? Ah, she sells things. She sells a light three augment, which is trash. Well, <clears throat> I shouldn't say it's trash. It's only trash because I have some killer mutton chop. She does have some killer mutton chop. That's absolutely the truth. Um, she doesn't have, light three is not trash, but it is for me because one of the mods I have installed makes it to where all the augments have a light of equivalent level to the augment. So that way you don't have to make that choice. You don't have to be like, do I want to be able to see or do I want to have a health regen damage or whatever augment you might try? I have also noticed that it kind of seems like this Mech Nog Launcher is one-handed. So like, maybe I could do this. Yeah. And then I'd still have my assault rifle on number six there. So let's see, where are Glitch? Glitch tend to reside on planets with a lot of volcanic activity. They seem to find them vaguely comforting. Volcanic planets occur around fiery stars. Best to search there for clues. I know that Glitch are a little offbeat, but don't have, underestimate them. Look after yourself, dear. I'm also kind of surprised that I haven't found a lot of Glitch stuff already. Because, I I mean, like, obviously, you guys have been with me the whole time. You've seen me do many a Glitch dungeon, because the game seems to spawn them more than it does anything else. But, I mean, if the game tells me that I have to go to one of these, then, you know, we'll trust the game. I mean, why not? And then, also, let's sort out this cosmetic stuff from our inventory so that way we're not carrying it around. Ooh, a stim pack of red liquid that grants brief but powerful regeneration. And as far as instruments go, we've already gotten this... And we have already got a trumpet, so we get to sell both of those. Also put up this visor that I couldn't see, apparently. And then in sale, we'll put the pet collar and the capture pod. And that's it, because all this other stuff is going to get sold. Except for I might keep the, uh, the health region. The health region stuff there. Let's see, it looks like our plant, our Mushi might be able to be harvested again. So let's go over to the kitchen. Can I now make the delicious mochaccino? No, I need, right, I need chocolate first, which is right here. So let's make two of those, because we should have just gotten two milk. Oh, there we go. Oh, but I can only make one of those? Why? I've only got one coffee and one milk? Really? Each time you harvest those, it's supposed to give you two. Did it really not? I mean, it really didn't. Oh, also, I see. It's coffee, milk, and chocolate, not flat white coffee and milk and chocolate. All right, well, let's make one. We learned to craft coffee cake. How do you make coffee cake? Wheat, sugar, milk, egg, and coffee beans. So we need sugar, wheat. I might have to start growing more crops, guys, for us to keep on going up in these food trees. Because obviously the better the food, the, the higher quality is. Like, shepherd's pie is probably the best thing that I know how to make right now. It's blue. Blue just means good in video games. That's how it works. Although there's, you know, in this game, there's obviously a purple tier, too. So there's something, there's something... Beyond Shepherd's Pie. Mashed potatoes and meat stew. Meat stew is wheat, pearl peas, corn, and raw steak. Hmm. Hmm. Also, this food went to waste. Whatever that was. I should find something to do with these apples, too, since apples don't stack, so they just keep on taking up inventory space. Which I consider a high crime. Go ahead and eat that since it's about to go bad. Oh, this is about to go bad soon too. 
So is that. So much of my stuff is about to go bad. Guys, I don't want stuff going bad. And the meat is starting to smell rotten. Let's at least cook that. There we go. Fresh duration. Should stay, should stay fresh for a while. What can you do with apples? I bet you can make like an apple... Well, you can make candied apples for sure, but... So like an apple pie? I feel like there should be an apple pie. Probably I just don't know how to make it yet. But I don't really see anything else that uses apples. There's no apple jam. There's no apple juice. How is there not any apple juice also while we're on the subject? Cyanide, oculum, and puss plums. And we got pineapple juice. I mean, like, there's totally juices in the game. Thorn, pineapple, tomato, just no apple? Apple juice is so basic. That's, like, what you do with apples. This, of course, you count, like, making apple cider, but we don't have... The brewing technology is not our strong suit. Well, anyways, let's go down to this planet. Hopefully find something cool. Like a glitch mansion thing. Wartweed. Don't do it. It's not gonna go well for you. Now my real question about these is... Oh my gosh. How about this? So they don't track which I'm already considering a flaw. But I can fire four of them at once, which is nice. And it seems like the energy cost increase is only marginal for that. It's just like a time thing. So what did I get there? A two-handed shotgun, 33.6 with grenade launcher. Nope. Let's keep this out. And let's keep it charged, because why not? Oh, those were just actual bombs. I was like, ooh, what ore is it going to give us today? No ore. Alright. It's also... Also, aiming directly at things is not going to hit them if they're any kind of a distance away from you. I guess unless you were fine. If I was firing only one, it probably would. I, you know what? You're my favorite, too, that I've met so far of your people. Don't tell them that they're the only one that I've met so far of their people. Staff, you say? Low gravity zone. <laughs> Enabling us to jump like really high, probably. Also, just like just firing rockets. The energy cost on this is really not bad. I wish I could see how much the damage was, but I mean, firing stuff in a straight line is going to be better than having to try to arc it. So honestly, this is probably better than the grenade launcher. Except that the damage does not seem very good, but I can also, like, if I point blank this guy with four of them... Yeah, he's gonna take all four of them, so actually the damage can be really good. Are you, are you enemy? You are enemy, okay. Yes, take multiple rockets to the face and somehow survive it unharmed, basically. <sighs> I'm 
I'm getting the hang of it. <laughs> I mean, this is this is my first time messing with it, so. But yeah, I mean, the energy cost on this is really not so bad. I'm, like, a lot more impressed with it than I thought I would be. Because, honestly, most of the boss weapons are, like, kind of cool for when you get them, but then they're complete and utter trash anytime after that. Except for this one. The sword is also, is obviously awesome all the time. From what I've been able to figure out. It's not my first time using the sword. The sword I knew about. And honestly, I fought the Minic Nog program before, or the, the Big 8 program before. I just, I have never, I don't think I've ever gotten a weapon before. seems like there's some kind of limit on exactly where, like, point-blanking them actually doesn't cause all four rockets to hit them. So maybe not... Ooh, a standard grenade launcher. The energy per shot on that's really high, though. Oh, and it's a bouncy grenade. Otherwise known as trash... And we do get the benefit of using our grappling hook while we have this equipped. I want to explode this. Aw, oh, you can't set off the landmines? These are landmines, by the way, if you didn't know that. If you get close to them, they'll set off. They are able to sense when you are close and attempt to detonate accordingly. Yeah. Okay, I can detonate those point blank. I thought I could, but I was like, I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe the game would have you have like some kind of a weird self-preservation instinct and not detonate that kind of stuff right next to your face. It's possible. Learn how to make a store register. Also, this locker is lootable, but it has nothing in it. sense. I'd like to find some new cool guns. Like, just out and about. Like, fire fire planets are, are the best place for... They, they will spawn the strongest weapons. Although, obviously, I would think that Underground would have a higher chance. It's just I'm also looking for glitch storage, so... That's why we're mostly looking around the surface. Yes, these are... These are sensors. That trip off these bombs. Can we scan the bombs? 
Nope. Hey, we found a diamond. That, that was nice for somebody to, to mine that for us. See, that sensor we'd already tripped, so... I felt completely and utterly confident just walking through it. Another of a very similar thing. Maybe we'll also find some killer loot in this one. Nano bandages are good. Upgrade modules, if we can ever get some more crew, will be helpful. And manipulator modules, which we still need... What did we say earlier? 24? We need... So we need more than 10 of those left. For, like, right now. For, like, what we're trying to do currently, anyways. Aw, oh, you don't look friendly. That's okay. I have a sword for you. Sometimes underneath these, yeah, maybe. There is a storage thing. It's like a little bunker. Although this one was entirely blank. That's whack. be a take-all hotkey. I think I've said that before, but I still would like it if there was a take-all hotkey. Because I would use it very often if there was. Two manipulator modules in one? Fantastic! Let's, uh, let's, okay, real quick, what else? I've got some food, right, that's about to go bad. What was about to go bad? Candy apple is about to go bad. Something did go bad. Um, and the campfire banana? Which I got four of those to eat. Let's eat the candy apple and then eat one of the campfire bananas. And then we're full on food. Hey, do you guys feel like not going back through the bombs? Me too. and shock and awe if I don't bother dodging. Okay, I'll dodge a little. I don't know what those are, but I didn't like them. Seems like on this planet, we're just getting harsh humans getting angry humes. This is a Mad Max planet. We did get Deadbeat Leather Jacket. I told you, this is a Mad Max planet. Oh, I don't think any of you were really disagreeing with me when I said that. Make this one? No? Okay. Listen, rock dudes. And then... <laughs> oh, I love this sword. Another sword lets you literally lay traps for people. Lava stuff. 
know, I would I would have figured for something that walked so boldly into that lava that it would have had some kind of resistance to it, but it sure didn't. This is like an actual volcano style. So I mean like a hundred percent game, you told me go to a volcanic planet and I would be able to find glitch. That is literally what I did and I have found no glitch. Ooh, but I did find what? What is that? Fire Lord's breastplate. You know, that doesn't look so bad either. Decidedly less dapper, but it makes me look like I'm more capable than I am. Especially when you take into account how many times I just dive right into stuff that just starts killing me. Uh, listen, bird. feather crown. I've learned to craft burning eyeballs. Which I don't know if I should be happy about that. I would be very happy if I could somehow craft them directly onto my enemies, but I somehow doubt that that works. Hi! Ah, oh, you're not a friendly. You got a health bar. my superior technology. What is this? A fish in a bone and a spooky pie. That was a bone boo. I just learned how to make a bone boo. I hate to break it to you guys, but I don't think we're going to find glitch on this planet. Because this is decidedly not glitch here. Um, oh, I took it. Okay. But this is stuff we could scan. Don't you guys want to have like prison cells? Like literal wooden prison cells we could put things in? <laughs> Why wouldn't you? Am I right? Bone chest. Make a bone throne, make a bone coffin, and get a manipulator module. And then break the chest. Yep, this is, this is decidedly Florin. I just don't, I don't think there's gonna be a second, unless, unless this person's like, the wooden tunnel west of here. No, that's decidedly not, not leading me to a glitch castle. If I remembered where any of those other places were, I guess I could just go... I could go back to where those glitch castles were. Hello, uh, Dead King 57. Welcome to the stream. I had to glance closer to get through the thin veneer of numbers. The 
would separate out your miraculous name. Will you give me a quest to go to Glitch Castle? Mm, nope. Wooden tunnel. I'm doing fantastic. Thank you for asking. I hope you are doing the same. That's gotta be it for this planet. Because it makes perfect sense. Listen, we've already talked about on numerous other streams how this game subverts all expectations. So plant people living in a place that's just loaded with sun, like burning fire. Yeah, natural complexity, exactly. Perfect answer. I mean, really, honestly, and truly, the game just probably wasn't thinking about that. It was like, yeah, we can spawn stuff here, sure. If you want the honest, the super honest true opinion, but... <laughs> Throwing blocks. Low gravity zones, that might be worth... That might be worth keeping. Mmm, an electric shotgun that does grenade launcher. Mmm. Go ahead and sell that. My old grenade launcher. I'm gonna sell that too. Honestly, I'm never gonna use those. And I think I already have a harp. Oh yeah, I'm sure. Like I said, that's that's my honest opinion. Like all of this is random. Like they don't it and that's it's one of the things that's kind of beautiful about the game, because that does mean that no matter what planet you go to, you're never going to know what you're in store for, truly. Like, you have no idea what you're going to get, regardless. So let's go over to this planet and see if we can get some glitch to happen here. Being the fan of Mega Man that I am, I would really think that being in a constellation system that's called Curse of Sigma would definitely yield me robots. Did we already have a harp? We did. I could have sold that. Oh well. And then this staff will store in sale for the moment. Until I figure out if I got a use for it. So let's beam down. Did that... Did the terrain just really suddenly change on me? That looked like it just didn't spawn in for a second. Huh. Sometimes it do be like that, I guess. Actual water on the planet. Craziness. Oh, whoa, 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 what am I doing? That was definitely a thing that would have made me take a lot of fire damage. I was like a hundred percent just gonna leap over this pool of lava and then realize that I wasn't going anywhere trying to leap over it. Honestly, that's enough to get me the treasure chest, which is all I really care about. And it was a smoke machine. Decorative. Oh, didn't quite make it. Alright, let's try this again. There we go. And get it. 
Or you know. You'll be. up this poultry though. Give me that, and then also any steaks that I have, we'll get those cooked up. And then, try to get those eight. Because they're about to go bad, right? Oh, here we go. And we hit upon the emerald biome. And a fire portal wand. I would also figure that like a lot of stuff on this planet we got a geode we got multiple geodes man man geodes you do something with those but I do not remember what it is also, I guess this is a new tree species, so maybe we should... I have not done any of the Peacekeeper storyline. I don't even know what that is. Like, I'm a... I played the game a long time ago, and I'm coming back to it. And get artifacts. I guess those are really good. Are they like high tier weapons or something along those lines? That's cool. The geodes make noises when you walk into them. Is that is that a chest? Down there? No, just just cave. It might be a chest though. Let's check it out. They're pretty if that counts. Well, I mean, pretty does count for something. We got a geo chair and also a geo G. So that would be like a. Uh, you can make musical. Like I guess that's because all the geodes are making sounds. You can turn them into musical notes that you can probably play at your home. The final mission is Extreme Torture for the Peacekeeper storyline. Is that still what you're talking about there? Or are you talking about the main game? Used to harvest some of this. And harvest some more geodes. I'm sure Cruiser is flipping at the possibilities of the fact that she could build musical rocks all around a ship. actual geode. Basically, Peacekeeper story is main, but the last mission is so hard my mech broke four times with in-game stuff. Well, that does sound really difficult. I mean, uh, admittedly, I've played with the mech for like two seconds, so I don't really know anything about it, but it did seem like my mech was really not that strong. It was pretty easy to take down. I knew that would excite you. Ah, Geode High A!
For those of you that don't know, Cruz knows a lot about musical stuff. She's going to be one of those people that if she ever got into it, she would figure out how to build any song using the in-game methods. Haven't even gotten to the boss fight yet, eek. Yeah, I guess... Man, I don't know how to feel about hearing that, like, the last thing of that is a mech thing and also your mech dies really quickly. Ah, oh, glitch! Yes, some stuff to scan! Let's rocket launch this guy. <laughs> Nothing you can do about it. Deal with it. Let's just go on and fight him. Alright. Scanny scan, scan, scanny scan. Scanny scan, scan. Scanny scan. So what do you say when I said that? Not a lot of good to anyone. A whole bunch of swords are good to a lot of people. That's where I gotta disagree with you, my my Nova Kid character. Especially if you have a lot of people on your side to wield those swords. Lots of swords are definitely worthwhile. A picture book, sort of. This bookcase looks mighty old. Those are two separate books that I've already read. That's a pistol I don't have. I don't use pistols. Why are we pretending? I use the other guns. Scan, furnace, and a whole bunch of spinning gears. Ha. You brought a bow and arrow to a gunfight, my friend. Your sword is owned by her ship, the Dantelian, or final peacekeeper mission, you fight her mech, the Swan Song. Well, I will have to see how that goes when I get there. I will hope to have upgraded my mech multiple times, I guess. Because so far I haven't upgraded my mech at all. Like, I haven't even... Like, I have barely did the mission to get it, honestly. Aw, oh, this looks like where there's going to be a horse. It is, in fact. <laughs> I'll recommend... You'll recommend not trying? It's almost impossible. Well, I'm going to have to do it at some point. Just because I'm me. But I'll have to wait until I've... At least figured out how mechs work and gotten a few upgrades to parts, I guess. Get out of here with that. Any more scannables? Scannable, scannable, scannable. I love it when books stack. Ooh, that's one that does not stack. So have I read it? I have read it. Okay. Ooh, and it is now raining, raining fire. So that's nice. Any of this scannable? I haven't gotten that plain old wooden cup. Or this map. So that's nice, I like maps as decorations. I'm surprised that touching that didn't drop me out of the castle or something. That looks like a place where a booby trap would be. The best mech you can get for it is the protectorate mech body. Okay. I guess I will keep a lookout for that then. Is that a natural upgrade path or is that a rare thing that you have to find? 
Because I did see that the penguin that gave me the mech did have, like, a quest for me to maybe do something for him and get an upgrade. in the protectorate shop in the peacekeeper station. Okay. So basically I just have to build up enough money or resources and then I can get it. Okay. <laughs> uh, a little figurine sure looks fancy. Yes it does. It's mine now. I already got that map, all this flooring stuff. Ooh, a globe. Okay. A golden chest. And a gigantic bell. Just kind of hoping that I could do something with the bell. Low gravity zone again. Okay. Protectorate tickets. So yeah, just resources. I just gotta, gotta gain enough stuff that the game will let me buy it. Rest enough people to buy it. So you're actually like, you're joining the Protectorates again. Because, like, you were already were a member of the Protectorates. Like, that's. That's the group that you were with when you first started the game, right? So. I guess you're just, like, rejoining the remnants of them. a space cop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. That sounds really neat. I'll have to definitely check that out. Um, so much stuff in my inventory here that does not stack, which I consider to be offensive in mine eye. Eat that because it's about to go rotten. That too. Okay, and then we're full up on food. How did I destroy some of it, but can't can't destroy any of it? Okay, well, whatever. Are these these flags? These aren't no. Okay. to turn that down a little bit, I guess. There we go. 
That's a little bit more tolerable. Look at all these arms and legs. Seems like it'd move around tricky. Gotta love that simple, down to earth, Nova Kid way of thinking about things. Yeehaw, they're tricky. Any of this scannable? I mean, it's all scannable, obviously, but... It doesn't look like I need very much. Probably only, like, two or three more things, and I would get the... the glitch coordinates, too. Try to shoot an arrow at me. Come on. Don't you know who I am? Is that scannable? Something ain't right about this ground. Scannable. Also, I should put some food on my actual food bar so it won't fill it with dumb items. These apples will go bad soon. Better get them ate up. And scans. Just had to get that one final shot in, huh? And of course, all that's already been scanned. That's all stuff I've even seen in this castle. But it is important to steal all the loot. That's, that's critical. Absolutely mission essential. This is over on the other side where I was. Okay. So let's go back in. We gotta finish climbing this tower. This half of it. I'm sorry, okay? It it had to happen. It was listen, if beer didn't contain money, I wouldn't destroy it. But unfortunately for it, it does. It contains money. It the game is asking me to destroy it by putting money in those bottles. It's not even that I want to, I, it's I have to. Apparently I found some fire on the ceiling. Along with a glitch on the ceiling. with that. Can I like... Can I put this fire out? No, I just literally have to walk through it, huh? Alright, well, whatever. <laughs> Dang, that guy had my number for that one. Not that time, though. You can have money or beer, not both. The choice is mine. It's true, though. And for me, that choice is easy. I 
I've yet to find a beer I actually enjoy. So, uh, money. Glitches do not feel very realistic, that's true. Man, I love robots, though. As sci-fi races. As fantasy races in general. Hi. Will the time painting give me scannable points? No. And I've already scanned it anyways. Okay, so I've probably, probably exhausted my options on this one. I don't think I'm going to get anything out of this glitch fortress otherwise. Oh, okay. I found, like, one of those decorations that I just found. Executioner's Gloves as a, a full chess piece. That's cool that just, like, picking up the... The decorational stuff actually triggers her dialogues as well. It's one of those things that I probably knew way back when, when I was playing this game the first time and just have forgotten. The Belgian White? I don't know, did I say that was okay? Because honestly, to my recollection, I have enjoyed no beers. Except for... There is one. There is a type of beer called a Lambic. Which is like a fruit-based beer. And those I have enjoyed. But that is the only thing that is called a beer that I have enjoyed. Unless you count ciders, but ciders are not called beers. So I'm still not, I'm not lying to you, even with that. Hey, come walk through this. <laughs> Idiot. No, it's fine. Whatever. fire on the ground, but this chili plant is, like, totally cool with it. <laughs> That's actually a lot of lava. Let's, uh, let's do the thing. Uh-huh. Oh yeah, slightly modded. I mean, at least there's more stuff in it. Ooh, my pot is not looking so good. Let me go ahead and suck that up. I don't know, I did add in some stuff to make it a bit easier on myself, I guess. Like, typically, I try not to mod the game easier with most games, because that kind of defeats the purpose and makes the achievements feel, like, unrewarding. But, I definitely was not interested in, like, having to find my way out of every planet. So, like, I definitely have it modded to where I can just teleport out of every planet. 100% of mod I installed. That counted as a glitch artifact? Well, hold on then. Let me go back and just double check that none of this other frog stuff they have counts as glitch. That goblet actually looks very glitchish. 
this a glitch couch? Speak to me, frog. Oh, I already know how to craft a swamp chair. Is it, is it just me or is like all the swamp water gone? Did the fire destroy the water? More fire game? Come on. I didn't need more fire, I needed less fire. And what is that? Oh, that's Coco. This looks like a chest was here and then got destroyed. Nobody ever in the history of this game has been like, ooh, I am so excited to receive a lava balloon. Top tier reward. Get out of here. You know, you pick a weird place to have a shop, girl. That, that, that. Get rid of those. The bombs. Get these shields out of here. Pistols. Nobody needs normal ropes. Fire portal one. Oh, I got an insidious mask at some point. Harsh. Absolutely vicious. Thirty-six point six. That's better than what I have, right? Yeah, and I mean it's the same element. Let's see if it fires differently. Oh yeah, that one's fully auto. Obviously better in every way, shape, and form. So we'll sell the old one that we had, and then we'll kind of sort this stuff up a little bit, and then sell. I think one's good enough, honestly. But I think, are you about to tell me that you can get one on the, in the shop area? Because I think you can get one underneath the ground, right? Oh, that's full cycle for us though. This is where we came in. Beam me up, Scotty. Oh, look at how fast we regenerate our health when we're on our ship. Oh, having crew is so nice. So then let's... Uh, eh, 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 eh. Yeah, on the bottom of the outpost. For sure. So I need another glitch. Place. This doesn't even look like it's going to be a planet, honestly. Or... <laughs> That's dumb. Obviously, it's a planet. It doesn't look like it's going to have life on it. Yeah, it's a barren one. 
Barren ones, if you are a builder type, barren ones are the best to build stuff on because it's completely flat, but you gotta do everything from scratch. And I'm not about that life. Scorched. Intense heat. But this one only has sandstorms, so... Let's head down there. See if we can find some more glitch. I really want to know how I repaired this. I don't even remember where I got this mod. Let me check the shop. There's no core. Like, you can just go down forever. go. I need four chips. One. All right. Two, three. There we go. Yes. Good. So now it's all, yep, back to normal. Cool. Right. Put away this cosmetic stuff. Put away these geodes for now. And did I have the V guitar? I did already have the V guitar. So we'll put it there and we'll get back to it. Let's go down and look for some more glitch. Things to scan. crazy how much jump boost that the ship engineer that gives you jump boost gives you. assault rifle though how did you challenge yourself in starbound what custom rules did you make for yourself Oh 
only allowed to do peacekeeper missions with a twist. With a twist. Oh gosh. So many of those. I could honestly probably start selling them. Hey, also, we got the 24 that we need. Boop. We can do this so far away now. It does honestly seem like it would be really hard to play this game if you did not do anything but missions like exploring stuff is kind of a, a big part of it because that's how you find roughly all of your gear except what you might get from bosses Scan these yet. Ooh, toxic barrels. Guys, that's a cool looking axe they have, though, if I'm being honest. If only axes weren't terrible. I say as they almost kill me. See, you guys are so chill. Why are they not chill, but you guys are so chill? That is some wild trash for you guys to just be throwing away. Trash bags are awesome, is what I've just learned. So now what are we marching to in terms of our matter manipulator. I guess the paint and the wiring, just to get it done. Mostly because I don't care about the 5x5 five five breaking. I mean, like, it's nice, but it's just not a big deal for me. So I get the paint, and then the wiring's only 3, and then we'll just, you know, we'll slog our way to 5x5. Five five. It's not have. I mean, like, if nothing else, if you were really only doing, like, 100% just the main story missions, no side stuffs, you wouldn't have anywhere near the supplies that you would expect to have. I mean, you couldn't upgrade anything. Like, you wouldn't have mined. like all these healing supplies that I've been so liberally applying to myself I wouldn't have either. Shadow terrain territory. Dude, I love the X3 jump. I can't believe people aren't using it. It's so good. Like, mostly for situations like this, because I can hup, hup, and then finally land. No problem. 
Like, if you only had two jumps and you mistimed it, you would take so much damage off doing something stupid like that. Wall jump and spike. I mean, spike ball is absolutely invaluable, so I can I can totally see that one, hundred percent. Ooh, a poison birdo. And the wall jump is like a hundred percent the Mega Man jump. So I mean, like I get people wanting to use that one too. But I also just think it helps with the maneuvering, like just in general, being able to jump three times. Okay, I was seeing the structure of the temple underneath here. I thought I was finding something cool. Yoink. Alright, so that nets me the wiring upgrade. So now it's just the slog to the 5x5. Five five. 48 of them. And I know you, you viewers, being so savvy the way that you are, right now you're like, hey, are you going to explore that? Come on, man, what are you doing? And, uh, I figured that I, I'll get a quest to do it, so I'm just holding off for a minute. I'm hoping I get a quest in a glitch village. So that's what I'd actually like to find right now. A friendly glitch village instead of a glitch castle. this. Ooh, a chest, though. Can't run past that. A Lunarang. Then I got an Uncat Hat. <laughs> uh, cat butt. Hello, Shadow Friend. I'm here to raid your religious structures? I think that's got me all the pieces of it now. I could be a shadow folk if I so desired at this point. The Dantillion is a ship, and it's about the size of eight of those put together. Oh, that was a fire one. So I've seen I've seen some pictures of like a um, like almost like a flying saucer. Is that like a big, huge, like cylindrical kind of thing? Eight glitch fortresses put together. That is really big, actually. Because <laughs> the glitch fortresses are huge. Fell in poo water. Thank <laughs> you. 
Apex aren't really stupid. I'm not I'm not angry at you, Apex. I'm just I wanted you to be glitch really badly and you're not. That's how you failed me this time. Hopefully one of you is a merchant, as I am already very full of stuff. I... I probably not. I don't think I have that. It still just mystifies me that you guys are so cool with this being there. There you go. Are you a shop? I'm rapidly running out of room. I mean, I'm not a hundred percent certain that I don't, but I don't, I mean like, I'm pretty sure I've been poisoned. At least by, like, poisonous enemy attacks. I, I'm pretty sure that I've had that happen to me. I don't know if I've just come across any poison gas or poison water, but I think that I've... I th I'm pretty sure I've been poisoned. I've fought in sewers in a, a few streams ago, basically. I think I got poisoned then. Could be wrong, though. find a shop. Do you Kongs have a shop? like somebody that is a shop owner. Oh, I did not. Oh, I did not mean to do that. I didn't want to take your tent. I'm sorry. Oh, well, there's not going to be glitch here either. Let's leave. And go sell stuff. drink some delicious coffee. Alright. What's that? I'm hungry. There we go. Let's try that again. Got both of those. Got that. Got that. I have the cape already. I don't have the cat butt hat. So I gotta keep that. Slow zone. Hmm. No. Banjo I have. Bass guitar I have. Hmm. shotgun with explosive burst. Hmm. I mean, frost assault rifle, that's even better. What is it? What's its firing? Frost is better than fire. For gunplay, anyways. Like, on a weapon, it wouldn't be as big a deal. But on... On a gun, it's better because that... Frost can slow enemies down. Alright. Thus enabling you to shoot them more often. And... I need another... 
Another locker for cat butt. So let's come down here to bigger storage emporium. I'm gonna double check. I think I have all the shadow pieces. Shadow legs. Oh, I've got multiples. I need to not do that. So yeah, uh, 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 and then if I want, I can also have the cape. No, we're going full dapper. We're gonna stick with it. Oh yes, quite. Cape, hat, pair of pants, and a shirt. So we'll put all four of these in, and then we'll get rid of the other ones. Oh, also I have two tail feathers. Do I have any other duplicates? Um, uh, no, no. Up oh, two of those. Uh, uh, uh. No copies allowed. Very fine. How about here? Oh, nope. Those are two different types of glasses, even though they look very similar. Oh, I've got two hazmat suits. Can't have that. And... Yeah. Cool. So let's get these sold as well. So this poster, huh? I missed this. I'm looking for someone to become my partner in crime fighting. If you think you have what it takes, come out into space and meet me at my humble asteroid base. So that's how you rejoin the Protectorate. Oh, also, what is Frog selling today? Ah, the solar stuff. Space models. Too much food. Wart weeds. What can those be turned into? He one does. Spooky pie. Sure. Learn to make spooky donut. Apple crumble. I can make apple things now. Yes. Campfire bananas. Lucky dip. Spooky donut. Later, Dead King. You have a good night. Lucky dip. And... Tomato juice. We learned to craft garden salad, stuffed tomato, tomato soup, and two more. Neon melon jam. Sure, why not? Wortweed jam. But we need more sugar for that. I do not have a lot of sugar. Is sh how do you get sugar? Is sugar just a plant? Could I be farming sugar right now? I mean, I know that sugar is, like, actually just a plant, but... 
Is sugar just a plant in this game? Like, do I have sugar seeds somewhere in here? Like, if I look at my seed storage... Aw, rotten food. I didn't put any food in here, that's weird. This is supposed to be just seeds. Okay, so... Oh, but coffee beans are... They actually do have an expiration. Banana seeds, abyss mango, beak seed, bolt bub, boon boo, carrot, cocoa, coffee, corn, cotton, current corn, egg shoot, feather crown, grape, kiwi, pearl pea, pineapple, potato, puss plum, rice, saplings, sugarcane seeds. So I do have it. And that's like the only thing I can turn these warts into, huh? So far, anyways. I mean, there might be something else that I could turn them into. But that's all I've got so far. This is a wart. Wartweed jam. I need a bigger farming or operation, as it turns out. I might have to just layer in... Like, next ship upgrade I get, I'm just going to have to layer in, like, a whole farming area. Or maybe move some of this stuff around to make it a little bit more conducive to me doing some farming. Because Lord knows I'll never do farming on a planet. That's for noobs. Or people that can't have mods. Well, okay, so honestly, this is kind of a weird time to do it, but I think we're going to have to end the stream here. Um... I got a lot to look into, basically. Trying to figure out what what I want to do next, basically. And I've got to find some more glitch stuff. But I'll try to do that between episodes, or between streams. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please, you know, uh, let me know that you enjoyed it. Let me know if you want to see more. Let me know if there's anything else you'd like to see me do. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, please like the video. I don't ask that every episode, but I really would appreciate it if you did that for me. Um, and also, you can follow me on... I post these to YouTube, so there. You can follow me here, and it'll give you information whenever I stream. Also, on Twitter and Facebook, I post under the same name every time I'm going to stream. Um, also, leave lots of comments. <laughs> And also, I love you all. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.